one, I was definitely not typing out a tweet. Hello. <laughs> How are you all? Hello. I believe you. I, I was believe definitely you. not about to like your tweet. Yeah. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. Um, <laughs> welcome back to Oddballs, y'all. I'm so excited for this week. But more importantly, before we start, I'm so excited for a, a young, budding voice over artist named Elspeth Eastman, who I I finally beat uh, Observation and saw your name in the oh! credits and was like, who is this? Who yeah. is this? Yeah. Me. It me. Yeah. It, yeah. I was really Here's excited. Here's how I know you're good. Here's how I know you're good. Didn't sound like you at all. Yeah. Didn't sound like you at all. And I was like, yeah. oh, this girl got talent. <laughs> oh, talent. <laughs> They were like, yeah, we really want like a someone in her 40s. So I'm like, uh, okay. I'll just sound yeah. like a really distressed lady. And that was, you were. That was it. Oh, you were so distressed. Yeah, I felt like you were <laughs> lost in space. Yeah. Yeah, now, dude. If you could I'm just so glad you played the, it. Did you like the game? Yeah, if you could just explain the ending to me, I think we'd be really good. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, still just, not sure about that one myself, Chief. So <laughs> it's, I had to like. I don't know. I had to do one of those things where we all sat around at the end and I was like, guys, it's like space sci-fi horror. You're never it's really exactly, supposed to know like, what the ending's about. It's like 2001, right? It's exactly along yeah. the same vein where it's like, this is really cool, but what the fuck? Like, yeah. Right. I think that's what they're all supposed to be. Space mm -hmm. horror is always supposed to be like that, where it's like, what was that? What? What did we play? And then at the end, you're <laughs> like, I think mean? maybe aliens were involved and we just don't understand because yeah, we're not like, it, I liked enough it. It's yeah. it's not that you can't understand it. It's that you can't comprehend it. It's beyond right. the form of, of mortal comprehension. Right. Because we'll never comprehend space. There you go. It's true. <laughs> <laughs> well, yeah, that's, I mean, I'm, I'm excited that you're, now that you're a part of this and a famous, very famous voice actress. Um, so famous. I just want you to know that I intend today to make you play a woman in her 40s for some reason i don't know why Yay! Uh, yes. consider me for any of your projects jesse i will happily be a soccer mom for you anytime you need nice. what, a, what an <laughs> odd like what kind I will of project is be this? a soccer <laughs> mom <laughs> yeah. it going yeah midwest simulator is my next game and you play as, oh, you play as a wonderful. soccer mom yeah great <laughs> That's great. You have a minivan. Are you going to get to practice on time or not? Will your husband yeah. show up? He's got a big business deal. You know, a lot of stuff. <laughs> Just great, great game. Oh, all right. Let's get down to business. I'm so excited. Um, who remembers where we left off last time? Hmm. Who well, remembers we where we left off last? Time. We, we went um, back down to the cave. Were we still there? I don't remember. Oh, uh, something more, happened. Something crazy Samantha happened. Had, we were. Um, we realized Samantha's, we were inside Clarence's brain this whole time. Oh yeah, that's right. This is the simulation, and Sam was going crazy, sicko mode, yeah. dude. That's yeah, depressing world. Just amazing. <laughs> I'm I here for it. Found I'm here my, for it. Um, my my inner peace. Um, mm -hmm. <laughs> with my um, ultimate power over everybody, um, so I can kill people now. Mm -hmm. Um, I can that... totally control it. Mm -hmm. Totally can control it, you guys. I can totally control it anytime I want to. I could stop anytime. <laughs> so I've been taken over by the um, evil monster, and we're best friends now. And she follows my every command. Mm, <laughs> she yeah, does not. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, very close. Almost accurate. Almost an accurate assessment of what happened last time. Um, Not so much, right? Okay. <laughs> yeah, I mean, well, last time you discovered that all of the changes that had been made, all the things that had happened, uh, once you destroyed all of the other balls, just sort of like faded away into non-existence. And you also discovered that, yeah, Clarence was the first person to ever touch the balls. And so you're all trapped in, like, the construct of Clarence's mind, Alice. And, um... We also figured out that uh, Sam is just a 
murderer, just a murderous person. <laughs> she just wants to kill. First of all, just, they were bad. You people. let yourself be taken over. <gasps> yeah. This was I, tea. I wanted, this was tea. I'd sip it. You let yourself be taken over. Okay, I actually wanted Fern to be I taken joked. over because she had a, an affinity <sighs> with the creature. Oh. Yeah, but I obviously that they were together want to, one. right? It was like, no, I want Sam. Because she knew she needed a bitch. And she got one. <laughs> Dude, Fern also, shot Johnny in the leg. She could have done it. She, she, yeah, she done did. It. She did say that she shoot that she shot Johnny in the leg and that she'd do it again. She'd do it again. She'd do it but again. I respect that. Yeah, a woman <laughs> of her convictions, a child of her convictions. <laughs> Hell yeah. Also, um, it explains why there's kind of weird rules in this world because they're Clarence's rules. So there's weird tech that exists mm, and the weird Terminator right. people just stood up um, <laughs> and we couldn't actually leave the area because <laughs> Clarence had never really been anywhere yeah. else outside town. He's a homebody. He stays with his grandma. He doesn't know anything. I mean, yeah. I would stay with your grandma. She's amazing. Hell yeah. yeah. The pie, man. The yeah, pie. Dude. Why would you ever leave? You have pie yeah. and video games. Hell like, yeah. Good. Pretty perfect. Yeah. And so one of the things that, that happened last time is that you also met a an older uh lady who clearly runs or is involved in the secret seven somehow. Uh and she like was a bad she's a bad woman. Oh, she made yeah. it out for, like vanish for a minute and then was like adios haters and peaced out. <laughs> Uh, except in an accent that I don't know where it's from. It's so whatever accent I had at the time. And uh, <laughs> she, everyone, my favorite part is everyone in chat was just like, oh yeah, it's it's a blank accent. And they just, it, the chat kept changing. It's like, I think it's actually from here. Like, it was from nowhere. It's called a thinking, fake European accent. <laughs> I was thinking it's just like Ottoman Empire. I mean. Yeah, of course. She was an Ottoman. Yeah. yeah Ottoman uh, Empire. Right, right. Mm -hmm. Right. I mean, yeah. To be to be fair, I was going to say top of the morning, regardless of the accent, because that's just right. what Eddie thinks people say in Europe to greet each other. Of course. Yeah. And uh, at the very end, <laughs> the 1980s Ottoman Empire, uh, at, the, at the very end, though, Sam <laughs> rolled some bad rolls and literally exploded men. Just or exploded them. Good rolls. Good they rolls. Were. I mean, I'm pretty sure ones. Jesse rolled the bad rolls, and That's true. Sam you, you got who rolled the ones. Yeah, Sam they were got ones. all the good stuff. Yeah, I mean, blame whoever you want to blame, <laughs> but Sam was the one who killed people, not me. I <laughs> didn't kill anyone. I'm trying to save people, <laughs> and uh, the two ones, those men exploded. They blew up, and so now you are on a rampage chasing yeah. down a helicopter through the woods you've left clarence fern and eddie behind and you are off on a murderous killing spree and you've hey, left your three friends like what what's my body score now it's not zero oh, like it was before right or you know one? what you're absolutely what is it now? how foolish of me you're absolutely right your body score probably would be like a 30 at this point you are mm. flying you're literally flying through through the forest so I mean, because yeah. before I could not even walk through an empty field without <laughs> without getting hurt. So this is big for me. It's a big moment. Yeah. yeah now you're good. Now you're good. <laughs> Everything will be just fine. So problem solved. Oddball's done. Yeah. We, we bada bing, bada boom. We start with you flying yeah. through the forest, just like in your point of view, just oh, hell yeah. whoosh, flying through mm -hmm. the forest. And um as you move through the trees, we can see them whizzing by you. It's uh, a very cool visual perspective. If this was like a show or something, it'd be like, whoosh, 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 whoosh. and you can see above you the helicopter uh, sort of flying in the distance as you begin to move towards it. Um, what do you do, Sam? What do you like? What are your thoughts? What are you trying to do while this is all happening? You're just like zipping through the woods as fast as can be. Step one, check to see if my hair is still solid. Um, yeah. Uh, will you give me a roll for your to check and see if your hair is? Give me an investigate roll. <laughs> is your hair 
still saw. Oh, here's the thing. You you go to touch your hair and feel it, but your hands don't move. In fact, nothing you do happens. You have you realize <gasps> in your investigation you have zero control over your actions right now. You are just a vessel for this being, and you are along for the ride. You try your hardest to move. You try your hardest to touch things. <coughs> you try your hardest <laughs> to uh, just in any possible way fight whatever's controlling you, and you cannot. You are you're in it, and you have no control over anything. But maybe you can fight it. Um. Hey, girl. How you doing? Where are we going? <laughs> That's like your go-to greeting, and I love it. Yeah, it's like all I. Hey girl, hey girl, girl. hey girl. Totally love what you've done with your hair. That's fantastic. Your sister's a slut. Whoa! <laughs> Yikes! It's like my mean girl. Anything? Um, <laughs> hey girl, yeah. how how's it going? Where are we going? Uh, if you could give me a charm. Or actually, this is probably a charm roll. You're trying to to talk to this creature. Yeah. Oh boy, that does not work at all. You you try your hardest to communicate, and it is just like not answering you. All you can hear in your head are like voices, just countless, countless voices. And it, instead of being like, I can understand what they're saying, it's one of those <laughs> like that kind of deals. And so it's just <laughs> terrifying and awful. Um. That's all you cool, can so hear. Cool, so bad time. It's a, it's a <laughs> bad time. Uh, maybe in a little bit. Um, we'll, we'll have another little chat. Um, I'm just gonna, um, I'm just gonna watch the view and try not to get scarred for life. Yeah, that's a good. That's a good. Uh, will you let's um roll a, for me a uh heart solid heart uh, roll. Hey, good news. You will not be scarred for life from this. Uh, In fact, sweet. you'll get wow. over this very quickly. Yeah, this <laughs> wow. will not affect you all that much. This is just, turns out, Sam, very superficial. Kind of a sociopath. A little bit. So, like, all this yeah. really doesn't matter. This is just another day. Okay. Another fun thing that happened to Sam. Okay. One could argue this reflects poorly on my character, but um, I'll just leave that for another day. How about, like, you're you're so used to gossip that when you hear it in your own head, you're like, psh, whatever. Just shrug yeah, it off. like, I've been there, heard it. Yeah. Whatever. It's... You figure people are talking about you anyway all the time, so you're used to this. <laughs> a thousand voices in your head? That's every day for you. You're fine. I'm still this like, doesn't affect you at all. Also, my hair is still good. No blood on it for now, so I feel like, you know. Yeah, your confidence level is very, very high to the point where, you know what? You know your hair looks good, even though it's probably smoke, comprised mostly of smoke and ash at this moment <laughs> but you know you look fabulous and ain't no one gonna tell you you don't that's a three roll you can do anything today you got out of bed you, you made it another day girl you made it another day in your life you can do whatever you want mm -hmm. be proud mm -hmm. and so you're fly you're flying not many people get to fly this will not scar you if anything you'll be a little sad this this time of your life passed if anything <laughs> you know you'll be like that was a good moment i was i was flying yeah so you're fine yeah. you'll be okay okay Meanwhile, Eddie Fern and Clarence are like back in the clearing and they have watched you zip away. There are some dead dudes on the ground, ex exploded men, and there are a few agents who are just like, what? And one guy turned and ran. He's like, oh, hell no. And he ran on the forest. <laughs> so the three of you are just standing there. Sam has zipped away. What do you do? We gotta go after Sam. Uh, do, oh, whoa, whoa, do we? Like, yeah. you, hey, you, hey. Do you, right. did you <laughs> see what she did to those guys? They're like yeah, dead. I don't think that was Sam. I mean, no, it was. I saw her. Her hair looked amazing. It had to be Sam. <laughs> yeah, but I think she'd been possessed by demons. So we gotta go cool. exercise or, or something. Yeah, y'all have any holy water or uh, a, a cross or like a scare master? <laughs> you got the holy oh, Avenger. 
I see what you mean. Okay, yeah, sorry. Um, yeah, uh, I mean, we, we have the, the Holy Avenger, but I, mean, does that, I don't think that really yeah. qualifies as an exorcism tool. I, I just think she's, that's probably not Sam. I mean, I don't think I've ever seen Sam do that. Even though her hair is amazing, I don't think that she could just do that with, with the power of her hair. I mean, I've seen her destroy dudes before socially, but never, you yeah, know, but not physically. In yeah, not in. Yeah, well, they were cut to pieces, but, you know, once again, socially, not, you know, Ugh. okay. Actually, um, uh, can Fern do some investigating here to see? Um, is, is, is Sam out of eyesight? Like, out of Sam sight? is like way out of eyesight. She went and zipped away. Okay, uh, she, Fern is going to see if there's any, like, remnants from these dudes that can maybe give us, like, a clue, uh, as to why they were, like, specifically killed or murdered. Like, maybe, maybe these, these types of people, um, are targets for the demon shadow thing. Mm -hmm. She wants to kind of, mm. like, do a little bit of investigating to see, like, maybe there's a pattern here. Yeah. Okay. I think we do uh, know. Maybe that's out of character. I don't know. Do we know or suspect that they that the shadow monster really hates these guys because it was entrapped in another pair of balls or something? Yeah, like maybe it's I just at random, it or maybe it's though. like actually. Yeah, give me a give me a roll. Let's see if you. Here, um, I'll help you. No, no, no. But uh, luckily for you, I believe Clarence does in fact know. Yeah. Oh yeah. All right, Clarence, Clarence. of course knows that uh, the reason these two guys specifically were killed is because they were. Secret seven agents, and they had rings that were reabsorbed into Samantha, and uh, they were brutalized in such a terrible way because the monster is an awful, awful thing. And, um, yeah. hey, uh, they are trying <laughs> their hardest to get the rest of them. Uh, as you know, right now, there were seven rings, and three have been three reabsorbed, yeah, three are missing or at least one is on uh alicia who was the uh older woman and alicia. then there's two others but then there's also young alistair who yeah. is lost to time question mark so yeah. this could be bad news for a vengeful elder spirit or whatever this thing is that is you know <laughs> needs all of it to complete itself but one is like lost yeah it is and, and all that and then so the they're trying to get the rings back but the thing that confuses me is some johnny's back out of the balls but then I mean, your your brother isn't it's i just i don't know there's a possibility that that, that young alistair's around somewhere but we haven't figured that part out yet with his ring so either, he's obviously somewhere. going after the rings, and I don't know what, if he gets all the rings. Is, is it going to be bad? For I mean, gonna do? Gonna be real bad clearance. I don't. I don't know if we're going to be able to stop this thing, especially since it's already in, inside Sam. Okay, let so me let we me have to kill Sam. Clarence, can I hit you with a with a situation here? Can I yeah. hit you with? Like yeah. a, okay, so what, this is like a a horrible uh, extra dimensional mm -hmm. uh, being, right? Mm hmm. And it's collecting things. Mm -hmm. Has it ever been good when a horrible extra dimensional being collecting things gets all of them? Has that ever been good? No, uh, no, ever. No, nope. real bad. No, it has not. It is always bad. That is a hundred percent bad, my friend. <laughs> was was the was the Infinity Wars? Was that out ninety two in comic books? I don't remember. Oh, oh good my question. god, I don't think so. Maybe. Was it late? I think it was. Um, Infinity Gauntlet. I'm actually curious about what, this. What about yeah. Dra Dragon Whoa, Ball? Whoa, December 1991. 1991. It came out last year. Yeah. That was the step of people, man. This is, yeah, this is in your head. Oh, this is canon now. This is in your head. Oh, oh you I'm just like... going to make Thanos jokes now, and it's totally time appropriate. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Listen, if Thomas Hanos collects all of the Infinity Stones, he's going to snap God us away. <laughs> Thomas. God Jesus. Mm -hmm. <laughs> uh, okay, so, okay, so here's an idea. So we, we're inside the ball. When it was inside the balls, those balls worked, and we could open a portal and go into the balls. So now we need 
somehow to get someone outside the balls we're currently in to open a portal so that we can maybe get out. But then there was another portal inside the other balls open somewhere to another time. So maybe there's a portal in our world somewhere that we can use to get it out or something. Uh, if we just knew where to look. Uh, right? Uh, right? Yeah? We just gotta, uh-huh. find, we gotta find a portal! <laughs> Eddie, Eddie kind of looks at Fur and he's like... <laughs> Uh, sure. Yeah, Clarence. Yeah. Okay. What? What? What do we look? I mean, maybe. Maybe we just gotta f- and like start start like looking with uh, Fern, like looking through the Secret Seven. Like maybe if they have like a walkie-talkie or something that's left over, or any way of communication between each other. Yeah, give me an investigate roll. Let's see if you can find some stuff. <clears throat> uh, one. Nice. Yeah, they in the in the helicopter in the rubble. Uh, there is some communications equipment. It may work. It may not. Uh, on the two exploded bodies, there's nothing. They're exploded. Uh, right. and the two agents that are standing there aghast, they may have something. And oh, yeah, the guy who ran away, dr- the guy who ran away dropped some stuff as he ran. So you can look over there and figure out there's something. Right. I forgot about the guy still alive. I just didn't yeah, imagine everyone being dead. Dudes, like, <laughs> Yeah, they watch people explode. <laughs> They're just like, what the shit? Okay. Oh, I don't have any heart, but I'll try my best. I, I, I walk over to him. Uh, you, you, got, you guys are okay. The monster's just after people with the rings, so we need to like figure out where they are and maybe warn them or something. Uh, where, where would they be? Where would who be? The, the rest of the, the secret seven or the s- seven people, the, the, the rings, dude, like, points to the distance, and you hear like a like he points to the distance of where the helicopter is. Okay, okay, is old Alistair still with? No, he's gone now. He, he's uh, gone. He he got vanished and then brought back when she left. So old Alistair's there, and so is Johnny. They're back by the oh, car. Yeah. Uh. Hmm. Group meeting. So so do you guys want to like I don't know try to give this, this communication equipment to Alistair and try to make the helicopter stop and like talk? To, can we talk out of this? I don't know what to do. Yeah. Okay. Can you like? Think of things and they just happen. This is this, no. this is your world. I mean, it's just it's it's just like it's like the normal world, but it's got like Clarence flavor to it. Like things I kind of think are cool, like these oh. stupid things that do amazing things. Okay. With this pin that just like opens up anything. Yes, yeah, so that is pretty cool, though, Clarence. I mean, that's pretty yeah. cool. Well, uh, maybe there's like I mean, we'll see. Maybe there's like a secret room or something somewhere because I you know I really like. It has like all the items in the world in it, like a dev room. And we can what? Just, like, Why don't I just pull this this thing out and I'll just keep looking? I'll just keep my eyes peeled or, or just this one eye and uh, yeah. I'll tell you if I see anything. Yeah, okay. where do you look, Fern? Everywhere. Just, I mean, they're in the woods, right? So, yeah, give me, give me some things you're looking specifically at. Well, um, trees. We got some okay. trees. Um, she's looking for anything that looks perhaps out of the ordinary, like a, like a building that might not otherwise be there. Anything that doesn't show up on like this eye, right? Like, sure. This. Uh, roll yeah. me a comprehend. <laughs> Yo. Yeah. Um, you don't comprehend it, but when you mm. move your, uh, eyes over Alistair, as you do, Visually, you see him, but as you look through the hole in this telescope, uh, he's not there. Oh, my God. Clarence. Hmm? Alistair is invisible. Wow. He's, he's right there. I see him. No, he's not real. Look. She hands it to you. Now look. Yeah, uh, you look through and uh, give me a comprehend. Let's see if you understand. No, I really want to though. You don't I want to, Clarence. I really want to though. <laughs> yeah, you can. I mean, you can try re-roll that, but you're, uh, you're trying so hard. Yeah, yeah. It's like, what? Uh, yeah, I'll make, I'll make one more roll. See. Okay. 
No. Oh, no, wow. Well. No, you don't get it at all. It doesn't make huh. sense to you. Literally, you are looking at a guy who you've interacted with, you've touched, you've, um, like, everything that you can think of. You know him to be real, but he is just not there in front of you. It's not there. I was gonna say, are the pieces of the bodies of the guys they took the ring from, are they on the ground? Uh, you look over there and uh, give me an investigate. Mm. Yeah, mm. Uh, you look over and the pieces, what's left of them, is definitely on the ground. It's right. definitely there. Alistair is not. I'll, I'll give Sam a little telescope back. Uh, that's, that's really weird. Yeah. Should I just go ask him about it? Yeah. Ask him why he's not real. Okay. And then I'll walk up to Alistair. <clears throat> uh, uh, Mr. Alistair, why, when we look through the telescope, are you not actually here? Well, uh, Strange. I I should I should be here. I mean, he starts touching himself. He's like, I feel here. Uh -huh. Yeah. Well, you know what you should do. Take this and look through it at yourself. He goes to to grab it and he holds it in his hand and he looks through and then you can see him sort of looking at his own hand and he like chuckles and then hands it back to you and he's like, Oh bother. Wait, wait. Is it because you lost your ring? No. Unfortunately, Clarence, I have I have been fibbing about my purp my purpose here. I <gasps> don't say. Oh my god. <laughs> wait, he's been from fibbing? Like three miles away. <gasps> <laughs> Sam. Wait. <laughs> Did he say he said he's been fibbing? Wait, what's, what's fibbing? It's like lying. Fooling with what? us. Eddie. So what, well, what did, what did you just say? Unfortunately, that? someone has to remain outside and make sure that everything goes smoothly with this process, and uh, I have been tasked with that. While well, the other agents are here to um, secure the situation. It has always been my job to monitor, and unfortunately, I have done a terrible job. Are, are you a, a projection? Or is no, a I'm. If you're a hologram, projection. blink twice. More of an infiltration. He's playing both sides. Hmm. I don't like this at all. You've been lying to us from the get-go. It's not... I haven't been lying to you, per se. I've just... I'm here to guide Clarence. And hopefully, he'll make the right choices and lead us to where the orbs were. Look at him. Look at how lost he is. Look at his dumb face. <laughs> he clearly <laughs> needs guidance. That's why Maybe. I was sent to guide him. Don't you understand? When you found the balls, everything in the Secret Seven activated. All of Sector Seven came alive, and it was my job to find you and guide the others to you. So what's the process? Is the whole smoke monster part of the process? Are we like making new balls or something? What, 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 what's, the end pro what's the end goal here? The end goal is to find you, Clarence. I'm right here! No, no! <laughs> yeah, I, I found you. you. We did it! Oh, God. The problem oh, God. is solved! Oh, dear. The Do real you, Clarence. Now? The real you. <laughs> Oh, the the real me, if if I can remember correctly, is like still out at the the trying to get funnel cakes. Absolutely, <gasps> absolutely. You and your friends are trapped in the bottom of a cave, 
and you've touched the orbs. We are trying to figure out where that is. <gasps> right now, as we speak, agents are approaching your position, hopefully, to take the balls for good and relieve them from their place lost in history. And if we're lucky, they'll never be found again. Wait, so we've never actually left the cave? <laughs> no, no, you silly children. But what happens to us when the agents find us? Like, you know, yeah. no loose ends, right? Well, hopefully, in theory, you'll, you'll return to your bodies. But, but mean, what happens to our bodies when we return? Yeah, I you mean, get, are, we gonna, are they going to experiment on us or like... You know, I would. I don't think they do that. We've been doing this for years. We've never had a reason to experiment on children before. Well, isn't this an experiment right now? Perhaps. So, you've been doing it for years. Why does it keep happening? Do you guys just keep leaving it around for kids to find and making a bunch of worlds and pulling them back no, out? Or, or no, no. It's been lost, dear boy. It's been lost. Okay. All of this, everything that, that you've created in here is a projection of your mind. But, but what about the world ending? When, when, does, when does that happen? That's, all of that was just you, Clarence. Wow, thanks, Clarence. Damn you, shit. <laughs> thanks, Clarence. God. What do you mean, like, I, I don't understand. Uh. All of it. Is, yeah. As the kids would say, you gamified it. So, we're, there's no world-ending disaster? We're just trying to get out of here and then we're good? No, there's no world-ending anything. The orbs, as they've always been, are a mystery. And a mystery that we cannot afford to let out into the public. Okay. When, so... Thomas Hanos isn't actually trying to destroy the universe? Just half of it. Oh. No, I, yeah. I assure you, the creature, whatever that thing is, is purely just Clarence's imagination. Okay. Why are there balls inside the balls, though? How does, how does that work? That's, it's, it's, look, it is not, it's, it's not real, Clarence. All of this is, is, is not, it's not real. We've 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 been through this before, though. I don't. I don't believe. Hey, I'm, hey, 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 I'll, hey! Uh, I was cut you off. Fern, come here. Fern, come here. Fern, hey. Saying to us that there isn't a world-ending disaster is exactly the kind of thing <laughs> an agent would say to cover up a world-ending disaster. I agree. Yeah. I think that I think that's why we should probably um, shoot not him. Trust him or shoot him. I don't have a gun, but if you wanna, maybe keep you can it. Ask listen, it. I'm not saying this is all we're like whispering, but this is completely audible. Of course, <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> I'm I'm thinking that okay, maybe we should just keep it, you know, on like the back burner as an idea. Uh huh. Yeah. Kill Alistair is plan B. Yeah, that's like, wait, 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 what's plan A? Just follow Clarence, I guess. He seems yeah. to know what he's doing. I mean, he's like the guy who's kind of in charge around here, if you think about it. Yeah, I mean, this is the world. Yeah, he made it. Wow. He's so know. smart. Oh, uh, wait, hey, Clarence. Uh huh? Clarence, if you... You made this world, right? This is like your your brain world. Uh huh. Can you like, can you like make Iron Maiden appear Rick, right here? Uh huh. Oh, okay, never mind then. I've actually never seen them. I have no idea what they look like. They probably don't exist oh. in this world. Oh, uh, the whoa! That sucks. We gotta get out of here. <laughs> <laughs> this place sucks. <laughs> no good, Clarence. Uh, Alistair, you're you're okay, if you're our god. I, we don't like. There's smoke monsters running around. What do we? What are we supposed to do? What do we? What's the next step? Uh, I'm only here to guide you, Clarence. The others, uh, they're stuck here with you, but uh, my job is to get you home. And I've been Are trying to do that for some time, but the only thing you need to do is get Samantha. That's it. That's all there is. 
That's my whole, my life's goal, pretty much. <laughs> well, that all right. Oh, that's Let's... cute and creepy at the same time. Hey, I know, right? <laughs> <laughs> we gotta go find Samantha because she she's probably killing more people, Alistair. And this, don't you want to save your friends? Like, I like lean close Alistair... to Alistair. Yeah, Alistair like looks at you and uh, doesn't say anything. He just like raises his eyebrow at you. Yeah, I'm gonna like whisper, like go over to Alistair and kind of like whisper in his ear. So if I get out of here, there, am I gonna have to leave them behind? No, if if you get out of here, Clarence, this all ends. Yeah, I know it. That, that's Is very that ominous, though. The end game. <laughs> Don't know what you're referring to, Eddie. Really but it would make a great yeah, title. You know, like, for, you know, like the end of the game. film. A, yes. After 22 films, we'll certainly make an excellent title to the last yeah. MCU movie. Of, yeah, uh, yes. that would be that would be crazy were it to happen in 27 years. The future is uh, crazy indeed, Edward. Yeah, uh, who knows? Who knows? So if, we're gonna, yes. if we need to get Sam, then she that she it is going after the rings, right? And, and I point towards the helicopter in the distance. Like, and, that, and that's where the other rings are. So we need to like get to them so we can get to her. Yes, of course. Okay. Can you like can, we, can they come pick us up or something? I don't how do we get them. Can they come pick you up? Oh, Clarence. We're on a helicopter. Come on. Can't be that easy, Clarence. You have to earn what? it. And he like steps back away and uh like slowly walks back into the woods like backwards walking into the woods as creepy as possible and then just like is gone into the woods such a bastard (laughs) 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 all right i guess we're on foot then uh though is the car no johnny's still here is the car still here car still here johnny Oh, yeah, oh, we got to talk to Johnny. Johnny. Oh, my God. John, Johnny, Johnny from Loose Cannon. Johnny, how do you feel? Are you okay? You... <laughs> Those men exploded. Yeah, Johnny. It, isn't it, it great? Did. It's like 4th of July. No. Yeah. What's that great? Works. Oh, my God. I now know. Are you the bad guys? No, listen. We're not the bad guys, oh. but don't worry. None of this is real. It's all fake. This is all. Really? I made it all. Yeah, yeah it's, it's, it's it's a simulation. So you oh. want to blame anybody? Blame Clarence. Uh, yeah, just blame uh, him. Uh, he just cries. He just cries in the back of the car. Oh no! Oh Johnny! Oh, it's Johnny, like ugly sobbing. Don't, crying, like, yeah, so don't no. cry. Like, Listen. Uh, oh, it's gross. Some oh, people gross are crying. pretty. Johnny, you're some people are pretty criers, and that you're not that. So listen, do yourself a favor. Maybe we should use him as. Yeah, we could use him. Wait, we could use him as bait for the yeah. wait. Other side for the monster. Maybe he remember stuff too, and like give us some insight on how it thinks or something. If you're, I don't know. Me and Lack. He was in there. Oh my god, Johnny, buddy, how do you feel <laughs> about? Ghosts. <laughs> I'll take that as like, you're just too excited to talk. Like creepy ghosts or like friendly ghosts? Like ghosts that come after you in a tomb and hugs? You. uh-huh oh. and give you hugs. I don't want to be I was possessed before and I don't want to be possessed. <laughs> But but that, that, I think that's your calling in life, Johnny. I think that's what you were put here on this planet to do. Yeah, you're put on this planet to deal with beings that are not from this planet. What? <laughs> Just ugly crying. Okay, well, I don't think this is working. Nah. We just got to drag this boy and go find, find Sam. I think Sam seems in real trouble. And she's just out there on her own. We don't know where she went. Clarence she just went that way. Ah, I, was, 
I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I didn't want it to be like this. It's so ugly crying, love your love. Don't you want to go save your future woman? She's not even that nice to me. <laughs> three, three miles away. Honey you hugs you. Honey hugs you, and the two of you are gross crying together. Oh my <laughs> god. <laughs> And he just drive oh, after the helicopter. <laughs> oh, they god. can't even get the helicopter with a car. Oh. Oh, he's got to go in that direction of oh. the land or something. <laughs> There's a forest <laughs> over there. You can't drive in a forest. Oh, oh, the, the, the shadow monster's gone, too. <laughs> I'm out. I'm going to go look for Sam on my own. Y'all chuckleheads can stay in this car and sob it out. And Fern just <laughs> I, I didn't even do any. What? I didn't even do anything. Eddie's very confused. Yeah, Fern begins to walk away. Clarence, Eddie, do you go after her? Uh, hey, Clarence, listen, can you stop right for a second? Maybe we should go try and fight Sam. <laughs> He's really fast. <laughs> okay, you know what? You take a you take a loose fifteen. I'll be back. I'm gonna go follow <laughs> Fern. <laughs> yeah, Fern, you see Eddie following you, but Clarence is still behind. Do you keep going, or do you wait for Clarence? No, she'll wait for Eddie, because Eddie's obviously showing initiative, and Clarence is okay. being Clarence. Yeah. <laughs> um, Fern, <laughs> you uh, wait for Eddie, and Eddie eventually catches up to you, and the two of you are just standing there at the edge of the forest. Uh, you can chase after the direction of the helicopter, or you can continue um, waiting for Clarence. Well, listen. Okay, so I know we got to get stuff done, but this is like Clarence's simulation world, right? So he's like important to this thing. Should we, I don't know, snap him out of it or something? How? I mean, I've seen that man do some things that I, I don't even know if I'd do, but he's just over there in a car crying. That's pretty inconsolable. In I don't think he's going to snap out of it anytime soon, Eddie. I think we should probably... Just go. All right, hang on. I saw this in a movie once. Give me 45 seconds. All right, I'll wait right. and I'll camp. She starts okay, tapping I'll, her foot. I'll, I'll, walk, I'll walk back to Clarence. Is he still in the car? One. Uh, yeah, are you Clarence? Still, yeah, yeah, still there. Ooh, but I'm yeah. kind of uh, sniffing now. <sighs> My world sucks. Uh, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to walk up to, <laughs> I'm gonna walk up to Clarence. Be like, hey. Yeah. I'm literally just gonna push across his face. <laughs> Snap no. out of it. Clarence hates that. <laughs> so many people oh. do it too. <laughs> yeah. Hey, uh you slap him across the face. <gasps> and oh no. Um Oh my god. Oh, oh my god. Eddie, no. what have you done? Something, something happens to you. Um <clears throat> You feel this like rush of emotion, but oh, it no. isn't, it isn't what you're used to feeling. It isn't like something inside of you changes as you're slapped. The outside world flickers and in the car next to you, Johnny is gone. Oh, you slapped the Johnny out of this world. Good man. Ow. 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 <laughs> oh. no. Where'd Johnny go? Jeez, that really hurt. Uh, yeah, you look. All right. That was cool. How did you do that? <laughs> do what? I closed my eyes and he slapped me. Didn't see anything. You, he was there, but now he's not. <laughs> Where'd he go? I don't. <laughs> I don't. I don't know. Away. Johnny, look, look. That's not important. He sucked anyway. Clarence, look. You have, you have the power. You have the power of Thomas Hanos. You disapparated somebody out of this world. Am I like your Infinity Stone? You have to, you, you have to slap people out of it's existence not a through snap. me. It's a slap. <laughs> I don't like this. <laughs> Wait, I'm gonna I'm gonna try it again. I'm gonna I'm gonna just like just like not like hard, but just like like sure, okay, yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. All right, <laughs> I assume you slap him five times. Uh, of those five slaps, Jesus okay. Christ! Let me look at these numbers really quick. Okay, yeah. So um, 
as you slap Clarence, <laughs> everything about the world begins to shake. The ground, the trees, everything begins to like vibrate. And for a brief moment, you see Samantha standing next to you. And then she's gone immediately. And as this shaking keeps happening, you see like figures around you. You see the agent standing there. You see the agent's gone again. You see like everything about this world seems very flimsy. And as you keep repeatedly slapping Clarence, uh, obviously everything it's tied to him in a in a definite, tangible way. Mm -hmm. <laughs> okay, all right, Clarence, you're obviously have some power over this that you don't understand. But look, we gotta go meet up with Fern because we can't be off all together. It's a bad idea. Trust me, I've seen Scooby Doo. The monster always catches them when they split up. They they always do it. They always do it. Why would they do that? It's so dumb. We don't even have anybody to set a trap for the monster. Uh, uh, that's fine. I'm fine. Me, you guys left. I'm, I'm, I'm okay. I'm coming. <laughs> All right. I'm going to like drag, drag Clarence over to, <laughs> to Fern. Sure. Hey, Fern, check this out. Slap Clarence. What the hell just happened? Slap him. Oh, the trees were like shaking. And what just the like hell? shake him a little bit. Why? Just do it. I think I think my consciousness is directly linked to the well-being of this world, and maybe if I lose consciousness, we'll all die, or maybe not. Does it have to be? Do I have to hurt him? No, just like uh, shake him. I would rather you didn't. Fern kisses Clarence on the cheek. Aww. 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 Okay. Yeah, like eleven. Okay. Ew, get off me. <laughs> <laughs> Good answer. Good answer. Uh... Yeah, yeah, Clarence, you get a kiss on the cheek, and it is. I'm gonna go on a limb. I need. I, look, I need you to roll look, a heart roll for me, Clarence. I look up and check for my heart containers and see if it went went up. Yeah, yeah. Uh, give me a heart roll. <laughs> Where my rolls go? Heart. Yeah. Crazily Three enough, heart. as as I would assume. This is the first time anyone other than your grandmother has kissed you anywhere. And uh, it makes you feel like really good. Like actually really good inside. Like, oh. hey, people care about Clarence. And um, you have this sort of moment of inner joy. <laughs> and around you, the trees like start to bloom a little. <sighs> That was sweet. Thank, thanks, Fern. Eddie, Eddie kisses him. Make my boo boo feel better. <laughs> oh, oh, no. Oh. Eddie, this is getting weird. Eddie, Eddie, you kissed him on the other cheek. Uh, <laughs> I like it. I'm like, oh, yeah. And, <laughs> yeah. Strangely enough, you kiss him on the other cheek, and uh, like new, new sprouts pop up out of the ground, like Yay! nature grows around you. Yeah. <laughs> Wow. Oh. See, Clarence, you can take life away, but you can also give it. That's amazing, Clarence. Good job. Wow. I've, you guys just gave me kisses. I don't know. Hey. One more time. Thomas Hanos would be proud. <laughs> <laughs> okay. You know what we got to do? We got to make Sam fall in love with Clarence. It's the only way to save this, this environment. I agree. That was yeah. your takeaway. Whoa! I agree. That was your takeaway. <laughs> F it. I'm in. Let's do it. Whatever. <laughs> Whatever. Whatever. Oh, that's this is not all happening. right. That's Either okay. that, or we got to get down to the strip club because one way or the other. <laughs> wow. That I feel was... like Clarence's Clarence's version of a strip club is just a bunch of like '80s models walking around on a runway in like one-piece swimsuits. It's the Duke Nukem, the old that... game where you give them like a dollar and get like the pixelated boobs. Yeah, yeah, exactly. <laughs> oh all just God. pixel models. Like, hello, <laughs> you are quite good at an... turning me on. Me yeah, on. yeah, two-frame animation. Yeah, I just think of it as like the hot for teacher video. Yes. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I would yeah, also yeah. accept uh, Angel as a Centerfold video. Any, yeah. any of those just like really old, like people walking around in like 1980s lingerie, and you're just like, oof. Ooh. Um, or that, or yeah, or, uh, uh, but anyway, I guess that could be your uh plan, Fern. 
I'm gonna let you guys go on this adventure. Do whatever makes you happy. Okay. <laughs> so I don't know what's going on, but what's the plan? What are we doing? We gotta find <laughs> Sam. We gotta go in the direction of the carnage. Obviously, and towards the sound of the helicopter. So one of y'all got that hearing aid, right? Well, Sam. Sam had it. Oh shit. So I'm just mm. listening to this whole conversation. <laughs> yeah, you can hear everything. <laughs> you're you're gonna like, hear all good thousands. luck with that plan, guys. I'm gonna look we through take... and just look and see if I see anything and maybe like a path that I can take. Use ask my, my telescope. Oh yeah, ask the shoe, Eddie. <gasps> yeah, wait, okay, I asked the shoe. Hang on. <laughs> ask it here a question. Doesn't know anything. Oh, no, the shoe okay. is answerless. Yeah, the shoe doesn't say I get in the direction that Sam and the helicopter, are they both in the same direction from us? Yeah, the, Sam's okay. chasing the helicopter. Is it through the woods, or is there like a path to it take? It's like... through the woods. Okay, so it's no Through car. the woods is where they went. Well, let's go. Let's get rolling so, so, so Sam can have more Sam time. <gasps> All right, Sam! Yeah. Sam! Hey, the, uh, Sam? The three of you run after Sam into the woods. The two guards that oh, yeah. were standing behind sort of look at each other and then look at all the carnage and one of them is just like I ain't paid enough for this shit and then they vanish <laughs> angels in the outfield so. uh, Sam you are gaining on this helicopter you can see it in the distance it is very much within the reach of your weird shadow tentacles. Um, what do you do? Um, hey, um, maybe we just talk to them and see how they're, and how they're doing. Yeah. Again, all you hear is the echo of a thousand voices in your head. <laughs> Okay, um, should we talk about some of your anger issues? I think that might help. What do you again? What... All you hear is the echo of a thousand voices in your head. Okay, um, <gasps> I'm gonna try to just scream louder. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Uh, roll for me a lead roll. Am I making it worse? I'm about to make it worse. That's cool. <sighs> that take six. Yeah. You scream loud, and all the voices stop. <laughs> Hi. Um, how you doing? Out for revenge, huh? Totally been there. So um, I'm just wondering if it might be more expedient to your um, specific plan if we, if we sat and talked for a second, as opposed to just ripping them apart. Your body stops midair, and you fall to the ground. And as huh. you look up, you see standing before you a shadowy version of yourself. You look great. How are you? Hair on point. Um, hi. You hear nothing. It's just looking at you. I just feel like we should try to get to know each other a little better. Um, so that I can understand what you want and how to help you best. Out. I know you want to get out. Um, we're also gonna we're also gonna work on your diction um, and your elocution because I think that those are important skills that you need to really work on um, because you're not really communicating very well. And, and I just feel like we're gonna be a better team if you learn how to communicate. As you say that, (laughs) yeah, no, as you say that, you hear uh, what is the beginning of it sounds like someone talking in Latin. And then over that voice, you hear someone speaking in a language you can't quite understand. And then you hear another voice, and it sounds like someone speaking in Spanish. And then you hear another voice over that, and it begins to grow louder and louder. You hear all these voices talking at you in. A, in very fluent versions of whatever the languages are that are being pelted at you. And you understand some English here and there, and it just grows and grows and grows and grows until again it's like 
<clears throat> you hear thousands okay, of voices okay, talking okay, to you. Okay, 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 okay. One, one, talk one, one person, one voice. And then it stops, and you hear, out. Okay, I know. We did cover that already, um, and I totally want to help you. Um, do you. Do any of those voices speak English? Yes. <gasps> Hi. How many words do you know? Would you like me to teach you some more? She like looks at you and walks towards you and puts her hand out and she's like, go. Go where? With me. No, see, last time you weren't very kind to me and then you um, you totally did not let me control anything or even listen to me or work with me at all. So I feel like we weren't really a team. We were just, we were all about you. And, and I need to be a team. I'm a team player, but I need to like work together. I'm like, are, can I hear them coming at all? Yes, you can hear them coming. As you're song, okay. you can hear them come. As you're like, oh, I'm a team player in the background. You're like, we're coming. We're going to get to see him. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, um, I'm not going to run out of words, but we're going to run out of viewers at some point if I keep talking. <laughs> sure. So you're just like uh, trying to communicate with this thing. And what is your objective? Like, what do you, is it just to stall for time? What are you trying to do? Um, It's to stall for time and then also to just get more information. Try to learn more sure. about the creature. Like anything, yeah, yeah. how to stop what it, weaknesses, desires. Yeah, what do you want to ask? ask away. H how did you get? How did you get trapped in here? And there's like a pause, and uh, it begins to swirl around you from the ground. This black smoke begins to swirl around you, and in a brief moment, like a flash, you see yourself back. In the primordial days of, of civilization. And you see what appears to be sort of tribal looking shaman. And all sorts of crazy looking like idols. And, and people worshipping weird deities. And things that don't really make much sense to you. But you can see that there is this creature on a... Uh, like a pedestal and it is being like stabbed repeatedly and the blood is funneling into two little uh, little like half like spheres I guess is the right like hemispheres two little and then as the blood goes in the tops are clamped on and this dude holds up these two balls and then it, like the, the vision stops oh sweetie I'm so sorry I'm so sorry. That's not fair. That somebody did that to you a long time ago. But you know what? You can't change the past. You can only change how how you address it. And if you're not approaching those people with kindness, those people who who didn't do anything to hurt you, then they're not going to be able to approach you with kindness. And so you're making your own, your own bed. They will never let you right. out. Yeah. As you say this, and as you try to like really uh, connect with this creature, the vision. The <laughs> yeah, yeah. The vision strike you again, and it sort of like hits you with a with a wave, and you now see mere moments after the last thing you saw, which was this dude holding these balls up in the air and sort of like chanting something, and as he does this. The body behind them raises up and a sort of like black smoke from the ball sort of like filters into the body. And this this thing that um, is humanoid looking, but definitely not a human that you've ever seen, uh, steps off the pedestal and just punches through this guy's stomach. Just like, and he like falls to the ground, drops the balls, and the crowd that is gathered around him begin to panic. And this thing lunges at them. And you see, like, smoke tendrils and stuff. And um, you get this immense sense that while you're like, hey, forget the past, this thing's like, oh, I, I, I've already dealt with that. Oh, so you're just, you're just, um, you're just evil. You're just pain. 
and sadness and and a bully. Yeah, let me let me see. Give me a uh comprehend. Let's see if you can if you do understand that. Or if that's just your hot take on what this thing is. <laughs> right? Do you does you connect to the fact what it is, or do you just oh my god? Whoa. Yeah. Um, Damn, what the hell? So yeah, you whatever these people did, they they obviously sacrifice this this creature and uh in doing so pretty much unleashed pure evil on the world and there's a reason these balls have been lost for so long because people are purposefully trying to lose them and um you begin to see flashes of other attempts that this thing has made to try and get out and every single time it's thwarted and every single time there is always something similar you can't quite put your finger on it there's always something similar about the the way in which it tries to escape and the way in which it tries to use those who touch the balls um it is constantly trying to get out it wants to get back into the real world and you know that that Everyone who has touched these balls, everyone has died to keep it away, uh, to keep it from escaping. Every single person. All the voices you hear that are shouting at you are not the voices this thing has. It's not voices this, of, like, people it's touched or any of that crap. It's literally the voices of all the people throughout the centuries who have, like, given their lives to make sure it never gets out. And, uh you can assume many of them are similar to you guys where you stumbled upon these balls and just like got trapped in here. Uh, but there's something like you, you see something that is awkward in these flashes, an older man with gray hair. And even though he appears in different outfits throughout all these time periods, he looks very, very familiar to you. Is it? Is it Alistair? Uh, well, Alistair? The four, it's definitely Alistair. It's definitely <laughs> Alistair. It's weird that Alistair would be involved in all of these. Is Alistair working on the creature's side? Oh my god, the bastard. <gasps> <clears throat> yeah, crazy. So uh, you have these visions, and you see all of these, these attempts this creature's made, and you also see all the things that people have done to stop it. And many times it involves people just like, like you've seen in some scenarios where people have like literally killed themselves. You've seen other scenarios which people have just been like, you know what? I'm good. And lived out the rest of their lives in their own like little mind palace. And the God with the comprehend, I'm going to just give you this. You have the realization that in that hole in the ground, a lot of those bodies that are like reaching for the orbs, right, are probably people in the past who've experimented with it. Probably people that were sent to go find the orbs and like never came out and just like withered and died down there. Uh, there's a lot that you sort of understand about this, but one thing you know is that. Like, people have sacrificed themselves in order to keep this thing from getting out. Hmm. You've been in here a long time, my friend. Yeah, Maybe um, we'll live in here forever together. I don't know how to get out. Do you know how to get out? I don't it, know uh, how to get out. It points to the helicopter. Uh-huh. And it's like <sighs> You need all the rings, right? I don't think all the rings are in here. It uh it like looks at you quizzically and then sort of like in the shadows, you can see the like a smile form 
and it holds out its hand again. It's like, oh. You weren't nice to me last time. You weren't kind. Yeah. As you, as you, uh, begin to like, no, I ain't gonna do it. Uh, Eddie, Fern, and parents, you can hear them approaching. They're getting closer. This thing, uh, moves very close to you, like almost on you. And you can still hear the voices in the background in your head. And some of them are very, very clear now. And you can hear the ones that you understand, the English ones. And I assume, uh, what classes did you take in school? Samantha, What were you a Spanish, French, or Latin? <laughs> what was the one you're forced to take? I would uh, be Spanish. massively surprised if she was a Latin. That would just be like way yeah. out of left field. <laughs> right? Spanish, you said? Spanish. Sure, yeah. You can pick up some of what is being said. Now, it was eighth grade Spanish, and it was like, you know, yeah. you got to see. But you still understand some of what's going on. And uh, you can hear it saying stuff that uh, whoever this is, it sounds almost like maybe some sort of conquistador or something. Someone who discovered it while exploring. And you can hear this person just it's every voice the english everything everything is pleading with you to not let this thing out all these voices it wasn't evil things it was saying to you every one of these voices they're the voice of the people that are trapped inside and they're just like don't let it out don't let it out you now completely you can understand all of them see si, senor yo comprehendo yeah and and <laughs> And the voice that you hear back uh, <laughs> begins to speak faster and more fluent, and you're totally lost. Oh, <laughs> no, senor. <laughs> no lo comprehendo nada. Right. Yeah, and he's just <laughs> faster. Um, oh, no. La toalla so, es on la tavola. See. Uh, <laughs> so <laughs> you... You begin to uh, hear these voices. You hear the English ones talking to you as well. And um, <clears throat> as you try to communicate with these, this thing is almost on top of you. And it's about to put its hand on you as Fern, Eddie, and Clarence burst through the tree line. Um, <gasps> what do the three of you do? You see Samantha talking to this thing, and it's about to get her. Clarence, Champ. do something! Clarence, make it disappear! Ah! I shake him. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god! All right, hold on. Uh, you, how long? How long do you? How long do you shake him? Like like a second, just like. Uh, uh, uh. Yeah, you shake him, and it shakes the the ground a little bit, and it causes this creature to turn and look at you. But that's really all it does. Can I step back? Yeah, you step back away from it. And the voices snap out of your head, and this thing looks at the four of you, and uh, it immediately sort of like condenses down into a little tiny fern shape, and uh, points to you, fern, and then it turns into like sort of a like a squirrely looking dude, and points to Eddie, and then it turns to Clarence, and then it it just like becomes an amorphous cloud of smoke when it looks at you, Clarence. Clarence, look, you gotta get rid of that thing. Get out of here. Uh, it's not real. You made it up. Uh, uh, do I just, like, start walking towards it, like, shooting it with my hands. Go away! <laughs> smoke monster! <laughs> what would, what would Thomas, Thomas H. Anos do? Do it. Hey, um, why don't you go look for the rings? Go look. See if they're here. Go find them. You, Come back. You, you want know to get where the I rings? Am. You know where I'll be. You can find me always. Um, you get the, you get the feeling that whatever this is, it doesn't really actually truly care about the rings. It's more concerned with Clarence. You can't Dude. have Clarence. Clarence, back up. Get go. Uh, oh. 
like turn turn Once around like you, shrug to Abby. Do I, do I get rid of it or do I don't? I don't know. Okay. I mean, it's your world, man. Yeah. You're what in charge? Can we just walk away from it? Uh, um. Yeah. Wait. The group of you, like, can walk away if you choose to. Come. Put it in the shield. Use the cube. Put it in the cube. Don't we have that thing that can like? Yeah, I got the yeah, you totally stuff? do. Yeah, yeah. Put it in the shame cube. <gasps> the cube of shame. Yeah, put it in cube of shame. Cube of shame. Cube of shame. Cube of shame. Yeah, sure, why not? Yeah, I'm gonna cube it. All right, yeah. Um, I need you to roll a tinker or program tech roll. Mm. Yeah, you you pop this thing on. And this cube, as it like begins to approach you and almost lashes out at you, this cube <laughs> forms around this uh, creature and traps it inside. Noise! Oh, shame. <gasps> shame cube. GG. Yeah. We won, guys. We did it. High five. High five. All right. Good job, everybody. Woo! Yeah, <laughs> but his hands for high fives. what's going to happen like, if it gets out? Well, it won't because it's in the shame cube. We have a second, so I can tell you like all the stuff that I learned while I was mind melding with it. So oh. this thing is like totally an ancient evil. We should not fuck with it. Like huge bitch, like way bigger of a bitch than Bethy. And Bethy was like a really big bitch, as we totally know. It can, um, it can hear so. you. Okay, we like scoot over. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, so Bethy, no, I mean, um, the evil smoke monster was like this really evil creature and it really wants to get out. So the thing is that Clarence touched the balls and we're like still totally in Clarence's head right now. And you know what? Alistair, old Alistair was in every single vision from like a thousand years ago. And like so many people totally sacrificed themselves to like live inside these balls and they never got out because they like didn't want the smoke monster to get out. So we have to either like live here forever in Clarence's little like weird brain. I mean, great brain. Or um, we have to somehow mm -hmm. get out and leave the smoke monster behind. But it really wants Clarence. Okay. Also, I think, I think I need the to second option for my my Spanish. You know Spanish? I turns out I totally do. Wow. C means stands for comprende, not seventy five percent, which is what I actually got in the class. Um, Tacos. I love those. Nice. Done. Uh, Thank uh, you. Arigato. Gracias. <gasps> Very good, Eddie. Wow. Yeah. Okay, I think we know enough to get by, at least. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I think we're good. Yeah. See. Okay. Um. I don't know any more Spanish. So. Um. Okay. So we have to get out somehow. Not trust Alistair. He is the smoke monster. And Alistair? hide from him and get Alistair's. You totally think he was last thousands of years old or something. Yeah, because uh, he's been working with the smoke monster because you're trying to get out. Well, you're trying to use us to get out. What if, what if, wait, what if he's like doing like we did with the balls where he's just going into the balls at certain times throughout history and then oh. just trying to mess with stuff? Mm, or every single time that somebody touches the balls, then. They get sucked in here. So we might have to live in here forever, which means no. Clarence, no, you need to get me forever. a unicorn. I don't, I don't think I want to live in here forever. There's no Iron Maiden here. <laughs> we got pie. Uh, uh, we do well, have infinite we pie. pie. Yeah, pretty much everything nobody... I love is here. Every you time we mess with Clarence, something else happens. But but it's usually like, like if something good happens to him, then then good stuff happens here. But, like, if you slap him, people disappear. Like, you don't see Johnny with us, do you? No. Johnny disappeared when Eddie slapped Clarence. Oh, I was hoping you shot him again. Okay, Slap well, that works, too. Yeah, no, that's not how that happened. Um, so, if we, hurt, if we hurt Clarence, then the world changes. And stuff happens. People disappear. I mean, Johnny disappearing wasn't exactly bad, but... I don't know if Johnny nice was really to here to begin with. Yeah, maybe he was. Maybe he was also just like a figment of our imaginations. Our mind. <laughs> Yours. Awesome. Yeah. yeah, well, He's I mean, Johnny himself. was a bully to you. I mean, we all were. And 
you know, maybe. Yeah. Well, you guys are okay now. And you have your moments. You have your moments too. I'm, I'm, look, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I slept too clear. It's, I was just, I was trying to help. It was, I was trying to help you. That's okay. You know, I would be sorry too if, you know, you realized that this is all my world and you could just disappear by slapping me. I'd be very yeah. sorry. <clears throat> Maybe it's more scary, kisses. man. Yeah, I guess so. Well, here we go. Fuck her up. <laughs> <laughs> um, why is there kissing? Listen, okay. it's complicated. Sam? Sam. Yeah. I think that, uh-huh. and she's like, she know how kids do that thing where they like draw a circle in the dirt with their shoes and they look down oh, at the no. ground. I think oh, no. you should kiss Clarence and you should. <laughs> what? <laughs> you should. Um. Maybe, maybe just open your heart to each other because I think that that could might be the secret. What? This is it. This is not better off dead. Is this a song by, by I don't know what that Chicago? Is, but... what, is, what is going on here right now? But I will say, Clarence. I'm sorry we bullied you. You're not an entirely bad person without any redeeming qualities. Um, Mm -hmm. And if we ever get back to school, I will do my best to make you popular. But you need to work with me. You need to be on board. And I can and I can try. And it's going to take a long time. Well, I seem to remember a lot of of pie. pie. I can make that happen for you. Because you know why? You deserve it. You deserve to be popular. I seem to have... How's that? Is that working? I remember thinking that I knew what it was like to be popular at one time in a past life. I don't really remember, but I think I liked it. It's, there was a lot of pressure, amazing. though. It's mm. fine. You get used to it. You just need to mm. keep those emotions down, like in the stomach area, and you fill that uh-huh. part with pie. And the adoration of pie. strangers... We'll be meeting with you in two or three years. It's all totally worth it. Right now. I mean, but but what if we get out here and then, like, you guys aren't even real or something? We don't (gasps) remember any of this. Don't say that, Clarence. Well, it's just just an option. I I just, I mean, you know, maybe maybe you're not real and then maybe we can all just give me kisses and then it'll be like a nice dream or something. I don't know. Okay. You need to watch it. Um, I mean, maybe that smoke monster is actually just a manifestation of your inner torment and stress that you're now unleashing upon this world. We don't really know. If that's real or not, angst? either. Huh. Yeah, it could be your teenage angst. I thought Jesse froze for a second. That face even no, <laughs> no, I'm just waiting to see what awful choice you make. I don't, I don't know what's about to happen here. I'm just containing everything. Also, <laughs> you guys are the worst advice givers. The moral that Samantha is. <laughs> Like if we can get out of here, I'll make you popular. Is a terrible, weird moral for this show. If you get us out of here, I'm gonna make you popular. Like, awesome! <gasps> wow. <laughs> okay. All right. That way, you can torment the nerds just like they they tormented you. I mean, it's like turnabout is totally fair play. You'll see how Where good you it can feels. Start throwing people in trash cans. Yeah, it feels amazing. Yeah, that sounds amazing. Uh. <laughs> well, right now we need to figure out how to get out of here. And Clarence is the only variable in this okay. whole thing. Every time you shake him, something happens. If you kiss him, something happens. What if we kill yeah. Clarence? <laughs> Why do I feel no, so expendable on. all of a sudden? <laughs> no, hang on a second. That There's sounds like a thought. plan B Wait a minute. that I like. Wait a minute. Wait, no, we, there was a different plan B. But plan, plan, well, plan, I guess plan B is, plan B is, yeah. That, is whole plan, plan B is plan C. C. This is yeah, plan, plan Clarence. Yeah, this is C for Clarence. Yeah. Comprendo. Yo, you guys comprendo. are all like, yeah. I'm you sorry. Guys, you must. You guys are all yeah. apologizing. And now, now it's like I'm just a tool that you can just kill and everyone to get out of here. Well, you know Look, what? I, you should have thought you, that you guys before you were bad people. Okay. Simulation. 
Listen, we're Clarence, practicing here. In our defense, it's not even plan A or B. It's plan C. So yeah. I don't think you really have to worry about it. Uh, Listen, I just, tried to make uh, Sam fall in love with you, and that obviously ain't happening. So I think we need to off you. That's yeah, okay. Can we she's, just say the plan went from mean anyway. <laughs> we want Sam to kiss Clarence to what if we kill Clarence? That's the trajectory of this conversation. I just want you to know when Sam was like, I'm not going to kiss him, but I'll make him popular. You guys are like, what if we just kill him instead? That's where <laughs> we've gone. Just let that sink in. Please continue. Let's see where this goes. I, mean, I could. Okay, so so okay, getting kisses is not is, option. Uh, this world is you, Clarence. Like, what do you want? Well, What's I don't want to get out of here and put people through the same torment that I went through just to be popular. That's terrible. Yeah, well, th maybe that won't happen then. Maybe you could just get out and eat pie and play games for the rest of your life. And well, like, well, if everything else fails, you guys are going to kill me? No, that was a joke, I'm sure. But if, if you kill me, you're killing yourselves, basically. Come on, think about it. What are you going to do? What if, the, the what if it's like released in the spirit, right? What if we need to kill you, theoretically, to just escape these confines of whatever these balls are? Because I feel like maybe that could work. Are you asking yeah. me to sacrifice myself to save you guys? Is that no? Well, I didn't would you be say against that. it? Is Everybody... what I would be more concerned about. What if, what if I needed to live to keep monster in here and you need to sacrifice yourselves for me? Would you do that? Everybody in there sacrificed themselves for that monster. <laughs> so we should all just live in here forever. In here? I won't live we in don't... here. I'm sick because of here. Because Washington's not here. It's not that bad, okay? This is this is my life. You know what? We're in it, I feel right? like we can just Maybe we could just slap each other back into reality or something. You know, maybe Johnny's back out there crying by himself, but at least he's out of the balls. I mean, we would snap. It goes gravity and reality. And Mom's spaghetti. That's uh, not around yet. <laughs> <laughs> Unless you created it in this alternate reality. <laughs> I love M&M's. Yeah, you become, yeah, you become professional rapper M&M's. <laughs> yeah. Where's... Okay, so Clarence, if you're the key, like we need to find out where you're happiest or what, I don't know, what, where do you think we need to go? What's meaningful to you? Oh, <sighs> my grandma. I think he's looking at it. I'm, I'm, I'm kind of I'm over it. After this conversation. <laughs> <laughs> we could go, hey, Clarence, we could go and we could play one of those video games you like. Would that make you happy? Yeah. Oh yeah, what are those uh video based games? Yeah. An e pie? Uh, yeah, that'd be Saturday yes, morning cartoons. Yeah. Listen to some weird Al Yankovic. Uh -huh. Yeah. Uh -huh. And and we Is need it a Yankovic unicorn to get us there. Or Yankovic. I never I could never tell. Oh. Oh. That's a good question. Yeah. Ask him. Wait, you know him. Make him appear in front of you. Ask him yourself. Oh, I couldn't meet him. No, that would be, oh, <laughs> be nervous to do that. Oh, my God. Clarence is the cutest thing ever. Um, can I do a comprehend roll to see if I can figure something out other than... <laughs> With a yeah, shadow sure. Give me, a kill kill Clarence. Give me a comprehend roll. No, not that. Yeah. I, I don't know. Yeah, you can't comprehend it's, anything. It's a mystery. Especially, yeah. Especially why um, he's the cutest thing ever, but unkissable. I <laughs> You can't figure that out. Either. Wait, you can't figure that That's out either. Sam, Sam can't do it. Um, <laughs> right, 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 right. Because he would can tell I... somebody, and that would be the end of me socially. Even though there is right, no social. Right, right. No, I get it. I get it. You don't want to kiss that dork. I get it. I understand. Can I? What a can dweeb. I Ask the shoe what we could do about where we could take Clarence. Sure. Yeah. Oh, she oh, has an oh idea. Ah! Shoe has an yeah, idea. Um, shoe is so smart. Where, so you, what's the question exactly you want to ask? Where can we take Clarence so that he can be more, it, I guess we're, we're trying to figure out how he can be more like in tune with this world that he's created to sort of like figure out maybe how he can either change it consciously or escape from it or figure out more of like where there's a good point to be. Yeah. And the shoe whispers back in your ear, Eddie. 
He is this place. He is of this place. It matters not where you take him, but where he takes you. <gasps> wow. Oh, oh, thanks, Shu. You're the best. Um, okay. <laughs> uh, Clarence, you got to take us somewhere. Where do you want? Where do you want to go? Wherever you, where do you feel where? is the right place to go? Well, we found the, we found Sam and the Shadow Monsters, so I guess we should probably get away from the Cuba shame before it busts out and murders all of us. Yeah, and that's probably a good idea. We're going after the helicopters. Do we? We don't care about the rings anymore. Is that is that is that what happened? So it it was never, I guess, about the rings. It uh, wants them, but it wants you, and it wants to get out more than anything. Well, well, I mean, so it's it, been using wrong Alistair to manipulate us. Uh, been using everyone to manipulate us. Uh, I don't know what actually is real in here. Yeah, me neither. I remember- I remember like something ha- something happens over and over again and I think like the the world's being created and and stuff but like oh, why you know why 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 is somebody trying to keep it in here is it that bad is it going to kill everybody It's that bad Maybe like we've never seen the real world and it's just awful oh. like maybe, maybe we've we can... only ever lived in in balls so Maybe it's your wanna... hurt Maybe it's your pain wanna... Right mm-hmm. now, it's trapped in a box. When it gets out, it, it's a superhero and rips people apart. That's bad. I mean, it wanted Everybody to talk it. to you, right? I mean, it didn't hurt. It hasn't hurt any of. Well, I mean, we don't know if those people are real. And it just those hurt people all the. We're bu- after you, Clarence, and and. No, well, I mean, it hasn't hurt any of us yet. It's only hurt like the yeah. the people that hurt it. So maybe it's not that bad. I don't know. Maybe maybe it can help us get out. I mean, if it, if it's I, if it wants you, I mean that's like all we gotta go on at this point. Oh, well, I mean, y'all Mary. kissing or you die, and I can't think of another solution. <laughs> yeah, well, somebody's gonna kiss somebody, or something's gonna die. That's like well, those are the, can... the race terms. It's like I wrestling. Just... Yep. Uh, if, mm-hmm. if if I gotta die, then can I at least go back home and like play Legend of Zelda: Link to the Past one more time? Yeah, that would be great. Let's. You know what? That sounds wonderful, Claire. Let's go do that. Want some pie? Okay. Yeah, sounds great. Yeah, let's get pie. Is that the plan? Yes. I guess that's the that's plan. plan. <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah Claire's comfort. <laughs> <laughs> the group of you sort of sulk, walk away from this box. That has trapped this creature, and you eventually make it back to Clarence's house. And inside, making pies, is Clarence's grandma just doing her thing. And uh, you can smell all the different berry flavors of pies she's made. There's even a cream pie, and she's just baking away. And it's just a, a, like a really perfect, like even the lighting is sort of that like glow that orangey glow where everything is just lovely inside and your game boy is sitting on the kitchen table clarence and uh Mm. as you turn it on it has a full battery full battery life and the title screen to uh uh Le- Legend of Zelda: Link's Awakening is playing. Okay, I was gonna say, I was like, "What are you about to say, Jesse? You better <laughs> we'll get that wrong." Yeah. yeah. You know, this game is really weird. Like, you know, the wind fish is a whale and also hatches from an egg on top of a mountain. That's I really huh, understood it that. It looks fun though. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> what? yeah. It's like about a dream or something. Like he's in a dream and in the world he's trying to get out. It's kind of. Huh. How does he get out? It's pretty meta. <laughs> Yeah, Super weird. Meta. How does he get? How does he get out? Well, he like gets like he, well, you get some acorns and you're invincible, and you you steal the shovel from the shopkeeper and he shoots you with electricity whenever you go away. What else happens? You, you get you get a bunch of items, and then I think you go. I don't remember. You go up the mountain and you just talk to the wind fish, and it like lets you float out or something, and you wake we wake up. Yeah, who's the last boss of that game? Uh, I don't think it's Ganon. I think he's in the dream. 
Yeah, who's the last remember, one? I'll give, I'll give you a I moment. Remember. I can't remember, actually. <laughs> I remember a lot about that game, but I can't remember who the last boss is. Wait, isn't it like a weird shadow guy? What? <laughs> Stop <laughs> it. Shut up. <gasps> Jesse, you're... <laughs> what? What is it? It yeah. It's uh, like oh uh, oh it's it's uh shadow he does the the agonim thing where he shoots like the laser at you shoot the thing back at him yeah and then he turns into the the snake oh wait a second where's my Nintendo power at I got I don't remember <laughs> yeah so you start playing and coincidentally you're at the very end of the game in this save file. Yeah. And as you move to the final area, you you have to do battle with this creature that uh, takes the form of Ganon at one point, and then another point becomes like this weird like eye tentacle thing. And yeah, and you easily defeat this creature. And when you do, uh, the the big wind whale is like, yeah. "Hey, bro, Blue thanks fish. for saving me," <laughs> and you immediately wake up in the game. And, uh, yeah, you beat it, and you're, like, really excited and so happy, and you look up, and your grandma's, like, smiling at you, and she holds out a freshly baked pie, and she's like, you did it! You did it, Clarence! I knew you could! And puts the pie down the table and cuts a slice for everyone sitting there. Oh, nice. Hey, Grandma. This is pretty sweet. Yeah. I'm shoving, face shoving pie. <laughs> Not cool. lady like at all. It's like blue. I wasn't, hair. Yeah. I wasn't, I didn't really, I, I couldn't quite get into that song at the end, but it, it could have used like some more double bass, but it was good. It was, I mean, it was okay. You guys don't think there's like a, like a master sword in the woods or anything, do you? Maybe the master sword was the friends right along the way. <laughs> God damn it. Hey, um, I think we should put our juice pants back on. <gasps> do we have our juice pants here? I don't know, Clarence, do we? I think Can you make Yeah. I think they're in your room. Oh, really? Oh yeah. Well, yeah you I go hope get so. them for us. Okay, I'll go look. Yeah. Uh Clarence, give me an investigate. Let's see if they're in your room. Oh my god. <laughs> um yeah, in your room, in your room, you're sort of like inspired by Link's awakening and in your room, yeah. you see these pants sort of just sitting there. It looks like grandma has washed them and they look fabulous. Ah. But more importantly, you notice that many of the things you've collected along the way are there and one of them sort of rings out a little bit truer to you than everything else. It's this weird pipe that has yeah. like a razor blade at the end of it. Uh-huh. And uh, <laughs> for some reason, this weird pipe with a razor blade, it like, you kind of feel this vibe of like, maybe maybe this is important in some way. Wait, isn't that the, uh, the weapon Eddie's been carrying around forever? Maybe. What is it doing here? Huh. And like, hold it above my, my head. No, 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 no. Yeah, you hear like a weird, <laughs> like a weird noise. Uh, but um, something's missing. Something's off and a little weird. And you're not really quite sure what. Like, it's good. You feel this like, this thing has a purpose. I just don't know what the purpose is right now. Mm. And you collect the juice pants. Yeah, and I actually, I'll take this time to put on my rhinestone juice pants right now before I come back out. Yeah, yeah. yeah you come down yeah, the yeah. stairs. You come down the stairs, and you are sporting these pants, and everyone looks at you, and you now kind of get kind of a little bit what it's like to be popular, like the look of admiration they have because you look good <laughs> in these pants, and I think <laughs> everyone else knows that if you look good in these pants, they can look good in these pants too, and so you just sort of like toss them their pants. Pants for everyone. Yes. Yeah. Juice gang. Juice gang. 
And in a uh, Batman and Robin esque suit up sequence, it's like pants getting hiked up on butts and like uh, Clarence tucking his <laughs> pants into his socks, and uh, you know like <laughs> Fern having to like roll hers up because they're a little too big. Like everyone, you know. And then Eddie like pulls one of his pockets out because like that's the style. Mm-hmm. And he's like, I yeah, check this pocket. <laughs> yeah. And you all sort of form up and grandma looks at you. He's like, what are you, what are you kids going to go do? What do you we're think gonna we go save, do? We're going to save the world. I mean, whatever Clarence says we're going to do. We're, we're going yeah, that was. Are we all just standing there like with the our b-boy stance like this? Yeah. Like, yeah. Oh yeah. Currently, you're like, in a b-boy stance. <laughs> we look like a boys to men video. Like, yeah, dude. Yeah. yeah. Grandma, we're gonna, go, we're gonna go back out in the woods and beat the shadow monster, maybe in 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 uh, you're pro and you're probably not gonna exist anymore. But the one I remember you as will still be there waiting on us. Oh, that's all right by me. I hope yeah. you have fun out there. And go there and like give her like a big, big hug. Oh. Yeah. And as you do, um you like grandma smiles at the rest of the group, and the last thing you hear her say is Remember to eat your pie. And then she's gone. <gasps> we need no. to take pie with us for sure. Oh, she's gone. I didn't get a hug. Bye, grandma. Also, my coworkers are the nicest. <laughs> <laughs> Yay! Yay! <laughs> yeah, she's she just poofs away, <sighs> and all that's left is pie on the kitchen table. Well, we should probably keep this and take it with us. And Fern just scoops up the whole thing and grabs a spoon, and then just. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Fern. Yeah. What kind a- of pie did you? What kind of pie did you just eat? <laughs> Uh, sure seems like a, a Boston cream pie, Jesse. Mm. Oh, well, that's crazy because the Boston cream pie just made you, uh, let me see here. Where did your character go? That Injured. Boston cream pie just made your empathize mind increase by one. Mm, really? That good? Oh, wow. Yeah. Wow. My God, I feel like, I just feel like I'm really connecting with everybody right now. You know, like. Man, I could be like a therapist or something. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. Weird. Mm. Or don't hog my grandma's last pie. She literally just disappeared. Come on. We may I may never see her again. I'm sorry, yeah. sorry. Do you, you take a bite of that pie? The Boston cream well, pie? Hell, yeah, we're going to now. Hell yeah. Yeah, Clarence. <laughs> it's crazy. You've never been empathetic really to anyone, but you start to feel it. You get a plus one empathy. Wow. Uh, I'm going to take the big spoon, you know, like the serving spoon, and uh-huh. just take a big piece of pumpkin. Yeah. Wow. There is a pumpkin pie there. And you know what? You take a huge piece of this pumpkin pie. Massive. So good. Right? And it's crazy because it makes your sneak body increase by two. <gasps> Whoa. Wow. Yeah. Get out of here, dude. Do we just like load up on pie now? He's like, nom, nom, nom. All right, give me, give me a, give me a slice of that key lime pie. Oh, <laughs> Eddie! Oh, key lime is delicious, and you it's love good. key lime pie. I do. Uh, good news is, as you bite into that, mm-hmm. your charm increases by one. Oh, I'm very charming, Eddie. Hey, <laughs> I never noticed how charming you were. Well, <laughs> that's okay. A lot of people don't. Until I've really turned it on. <laughs> Got him. Wow. I'm glad you turned it on. This is great. I did. I'm so yeah. glad you noticed. Uh huh. Can What's I interest you here? in popularity? <laughs> uh, don't, don't worry. I'm, I'm plenty fine on that front. <laughs> oh. Oh. Yeah. Um, it turns out as you're eating this pie that there's a lot of pies on this table. And do you remember grandma's last words? And yep. uh, yeah, it's weird. You're starting to get full, but I feel like you could have one more slice. Oh, yeah. I think I'm going to so go for apple. what kind of pie do you want? 
Apple pie? Apple oh, pie. Samantha, <laughs> apple pie. Yeah, Everyone apple knows pie. apple pie is how much apple pie do you eat? So much apple pie. So much apple pie. So much Here's apple the crazy pie. thing. Apple yeah. pie. That's an American institution. And that is plus two body for you, Samantha Page. Oh, that's what I'm I need. Over when I walk. I need. <laughs> Take me some. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Clarence, you walk over, you eat some of that, you get uh, plus two body. Holy shit. Damn. Yeah. I don't feel like mid max right Wait. now. Yeah. Oh, that's so hard. <laughs> you are full. Unfortunately, Clarence and Sam, you are now full. Mm-hmm. Cool. This feels like we're really going into the end game. You know, we're really getting. Uh... Yeah, the uh, end we game. We use all those items that we've had the entire time, but we've been saving um, for the end game. Is, we should probably use them now. Yeah, is oh, there? Yeah, is there... they're all upstairs in Clarence's room. It's so crazy. <gasps> Let's um, cook yeah. Oh wait, you need to eat is more there, pie. Is there French silk pie? A French silk pie? Why? Yes, there what, is. I don't know what that is, yes. but I'm gonna look it up. Sounds oh, amazing. it's creamy cream and delicious. Chocolate. It's cream with shaved chocolate and and like with chocolate. It is there. Yes, Eddie, of course. Let's let's take some French silk pie. Ooh, how much do you eat? Very smooth. I'll take one. I'll take a one slice. I'll take a I'll take a I'll take it a one slice. I'll take a one I'll take a slice. One. I'll take it a one, one. Yeah. slice. As you bite into it, Eddie, mm-hmm. you feel something you haven't felt in a long time. Like like an engine turning on in your head. And you okay. gain plus two mind. <gasps> Dang! Some of the square root of any two sides of an isosceles triangle is equal to the square root of the remaining side. Wow. Yeah. Is that oh. right? I think that's right. Way to go, Eddie. I eat more of it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, um, Eddie, you are you go to eat more, but like you're too full. And as you go to put it in your mouth, it sort of like okay. fades away. All right. Unfortunately. Yeah. yeah, it's fine. Fern is curious if there is a strawberry rhubarb pie for her second slice because she's looking there around is, like in fact a strawberry rhubarb pie. Yes. No. All right. And as you bite down into it, into the strawberry rhubarb pie, you feel something like fill up inside of you. And you have been alone for so long with just your grandma and your dogs. And for the first time in your life, in your young life, you realize that like. These three people, even if this is all in Clarence's head, even if this is all BS, they're like your best friends, and you love them to death, and you gain plus two heart. I just wanted you guys to know. I had never had friends before, and y'all, y'all are, are, are some real good people, and I, and I love you. And she starts crying. And I go give her a big hug. And I'm like, I love you too. And you guys are all my real friends, even um, if I'm kind of a bitch. And um, I know that I have problems. And 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 I love you too. And I give Fern a big hug. Listen, Fern, <gasps> Thanks, this, is, this is an emotional reaction to chemicals in your brain that are telling you this based on your previous experience with us at, at interpersonal relations. I know, but that doesn't make the emotions any less valid, Eddie. Eddie, you're That's so true. smart. I'm I so know. happy for you. I, I told you guys since the beginning, yeah. he was like the smartest guy I knew. He's so smart. He was right. I'm smart I and charming. Him. I'm the whole. I'm the whole package. <laughs> I give you guys a hug, but I just made my grandma disappear, so I'm going to just lay off with that. Yeah. I'm gonna, I, I give Clarence, Clarence a hug. Oh, you're going to disappear. <laughs> yeah, as you give Clarence a hug, even though it's a weird far away, uh, like seventh grade dance type of hug, where you're ju- like just far enough away to barely be touching. Um, Clarence, the world around you begins to like, not shake, but like hum. And it's like almost like, like the perfect, the perfect note, like a perfect, whatever the, per- like a perfect note would be. Like something, and, and everything just sort of like rattles a little bit. Yeah. It's like the, it's like the light come from the, the ceiling and like shine on us. It's like it get in through the house. Like probably outside there's a light <laughs> trying to get in the house on the ceiling, but it like can't get there. And so, yeah, yeah but yeah, you, it, it, everything's a little bit great and you feel great and all of you feel a little bit better. And in your hand, you have Eddie's 
weapon of choice. Uh, what do you do with it? I think I'm gonna look it over. Eddie, do you is you still have this on you? Do I? Do I? I don't think I do. Uh, yeah, you go to reach for it. It's not there, Eddie. Okay, making sure when that's that's it. Yeah, no, that's it. That's the one. How did you, how did you get that? It was this is in my room when I went up there. Is does it? Oh. does it look different to you? Like hold it out. Uh, I mean, look, maybe, maybe you're the one who should be holding that now. Yeah, well, I just, I just, I didn't know if something, something just seems weird about it. Maybe, I didn't know if it something. Maybe you, maybe you're the one who should be holding that now. <gasps> Mother one. It's your chosen one. Maybe, maybe you're the one who should be holding that now. I try and say it more mysterious every time I say it. <laughs> okay, I'll hold it. Uh, but up I'll in hold the room, <laughs> as as you hold it. Up in the room, you like a light glows, and it's like, oh, and there's at, up in your room is everything you've collected along your journey is up there. And you have the option to go up there and equip yourselves yeah. for a final showdown. So I found that I found the dev room. It's upstairs in my room. We can go in there and grab whatever we need. Is there, um, are there, Tiny pebbles. Oh, it's pretty much everything we've gathered up so far. Yeah, everything you've gathered like, on my list of things machete? you've gathered over here. Uh, yeah, there's the machete up there. Uh, I'm taking the machete. I don't know. Uh, I feel like you might be shotgunning. I have there's a shotgun up there. Iconic? Is there a shotgun? There is a shotgun. Fern lifts the shotgun. I have. <laughs> 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 I have the most dangerous weapon of all, my razor wit. <clears throat> yeah, as you say that, your shoe goes, and me. Uh, and my shoe. <laughs> <laughs> so, all right, yeah, Eddie, Eddie has wit and a shoe. Okay. Um, Fern, do you want the machete or the shotgun? Oh, shotgun, please. Shotgun. I'm going to roll for you. Uh, ammo really quickly. Yes. Just the so... best part is I'm not even that smart. <laughs> <laughs> like, I'm like average <laughs> intelligence. But to me, I feel like I'm like the big brain 200 IQ. You have, you have 46 uh, shells. Whoa! That's, that's a, a lot. lot. That's Ooh, a ton of shells. Shell. Hell yeah! yeah. Pop some fools. Yeah. Uh, Can't wait till I see Johnny again. You have 46 shotgun shells. Um, you uh okay, so that's Fern and Eddie. Clarence, you have uh your your holy avenger. Yeah. But what do you take, Sam? Um, I get what is I don't think I've ever really had any weapons. Yeah, you've always had your flamethrower. Yeah, I think I'm going to take if there's like you know, two canisters of hairspray. Sure. I would love two guest purses yeah. so I can strap yeah. one on each side and then have. Oh hairspray. yeah. Oh yeah. You are you are ready. Uh, okay, two cans of hairspray. So two, just, two guest purses the, and some lipstick. Yeah. Want to point out for the record how insane this is? We have Sam with two cans of hairspray ready to fight monsters. We have Clarence with a metal pole ready to fight monsters. We have Eddie. With wit and a shoe, and then 13 year old Fern with a shotgun and 46 shells. Everyone else is like, We're kids, we're gonna go fight evil. And Fern's like, I'll kill evil, bitch. <laughs> <laughs> really Listen, we can fight it with the most deadly weapon known to man our minds. Cool, I'm gonna or stand behind shotgun. Fern. I'm totally standing behind Fern. Yeah. We should, take, we should take the duffel bag and put a bunch of like, Wraps it just in case we get hurt again because that happened before and that was bad. Oh yeah, sure, yeah. Uh, who's gonna I'm carry that? I'm mm -hmm. all strong now, so I can. Oh my god. Sure. You yeah, you want to carry it? Okay. Or maybe Eddie can he doesn't carry have the any duffel. weapons. Duffel bag. Oh, 
Oh, I've got a weapon, all right. Perhaps the most deadly one ever devised by man. <laughs> okay, cool. Carry the bag. And then I'm going to I'm okay. carrying the bag. Then all right. I'm going to do Burns' hair a little yeah. bit. I'm going to be like, so when we get back out of here, like, I'm putting you on the, pa the path to popularity, so you're going to need to learn how to do your hair a little bit. So I'm just going to, like, just, like, try to make her bangs really big in front for no Yeah. As you do that, you brush out like leaves, <laughs> like twigs. <laughs> Burns still better, perpetually pretty. Yeah, yeah. Uh, okay, so the group of you are equipped, and as you step outside, uh, when you open the door, you see that there is all the people from town staring at you. Ah, uh, my fellow <laughs> plebeians. Well, thank you for coming to see us defeat the monster that has been terrorizing these lands. Ah, uh, truly, we are the most learned of all, and therefore the most, uh, the most appropriate to defeat its evil and send it back to the Great Abyss. Yeah, as you say that, your friend from the record store rushes at you in his hand a baseball bat. Burn gets out a shotgun. And? Not two steps closer! He keeps running. Uh, uh, Fern shoots. Fern shoots. Yeah, Fern, you, you shoot this guy? Yes. Uh, oh, give me a roll. Give me a roll for the oh. shot. Oh my god, Dwayne! <laughs> <laughs> How do, what do I roll for the shot? Uh, what do you think would be the perfect roll for that? Uh, I don't know, I guess just like a... Us. <laughs> it's like a straight body roll, maybe. Uh, sure. Uh, or maybe, well, maybe Tinker, because it's right. if it's I'll a shotgun tinker. trying to. Uh, all, right. all right. Oh fuck! Can oh. I roll that? Can I re-roll? Can I re-roll? Of course, of course you can. You have the rolls. Thank you. Yeah, you fire the shotgun into this guy, and he explodes into a shadowy mist. I knew it. <gasps> They're jealous of my giant god brain. Protect my head. Five show. Uh, as the uh guy explodes into this mist, this this fine mist, um, the other uh people begin to move towards you. Clarence, you can make the stop. <laughs> Clarence, wow. group hug, group hug, Clarence, group hug. Clarence, group hug. Clarence, protect my massive god intellect. <laughs> Mankind <laughs> needs this. We need me to move on into the next information age. You've literally let this go all to your head. <laughs> I haven't let anything go to my head except what knowledge. What are we doing? <laughs> um, yeah, what do you guys do? They're running at you. This The whole town is coming at you. In the front are the originals, and they're all like coming at you. Everyone's running at you right now. What do you do? Um... I guess I Wait, I can out. reason with them. Stop! No, I'm pulling out my hairspray. Oh, we should... flamethrower. Yeah. Uh, give me a roll for your uh, flamethrower spray. I think you have a button for that already. Um, I have one for my lighter. Yeah, that works. Yeah, you pull out. You pull out your lighter hey. and you light one on fire. Like, describe to me how this looks. What do you do here? Like, you light one on fire and then what? And then spray my hair on the way out. <laughs> close the, the fire? With the no, no, fire. close the lighter. And then go. And then back in my guest bag. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Wait, so did you fire the, did you, like, did you use it on them at all? No, I thought I got, I got some people, right? Oh, How many okay. Did I kill? Sorry. I thought you were like, I pulled out my lighter. And oh, then like lit later. it, and then was like, oh, okay. Spray. And I sprayed my hair, and then put the lighter Shh. away. And I was like, what? Back and forth as big as possible. Then I close the lighter, spray my hair. Yeah. Spit it. You. Back in the guest I bag. get it now completely. I get it now completely. <laughs> uh, yeah. You start unloading this fireball on these people, and as they run at it, they just sort of like, not catch on fire, but just like burn away into ashy smoke, and. uh, you manage to hold them back as they come at you, but uh, the entire town's still trying to come at you guys. Yeah. The entire town, that is that a lot of people? Like It's a lot of people. 
It's like we need to get the fuck out. Kind of a lot of people. Probably. Yeah. These people don't exist. They're not real. Clarence, do something. Yeah, they're gonna. gonna... Somebody hug Clarence or or kiss Clarence or or hit him. Somebody kiss Clarence. Yeah, it's got to be me. Somebody kiss Clarence. This is the answer. You gotta okay, do it. Close my eyes when I'm like on a streak. I'm like, oh, it was so yeah, rigid. Uh, oh. oh my lord! Here we go. <laughs> <sighs> it's happening. Burn screens. It's happening. Yeah. Um, Clarence, you get a kiss on the cheek, and in the background, you hear <laughs> this echo like, "It's happening." And <laughs> Around you, everything begins to like shake and vibrate, and um, in a flash, you're alone, Clarence. And there, it's just dark, darkness all around you. And you're in darkness. Is darkness in prison. There's me? sort of like shadow on the ground of like this. Uh, you can see like this the the shadowy reflections of what sort of like once was, but at the moment, it's it's smoky black there's nothing else there and in the distance there's one light and you see eddie and another light and you see fern and another light and you see samantha and as the lights flicker above them you notice that you're the only four people here at the moment and you appear to be the only four real things and Suddenly, you flash in a snap, and you're on a beach. And it's the four of you standing around on a beach, and you notice that there is a cave in front of you, and it seems like just a really probably great place to go. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, and uh, as you take a step forward, you flash back, and... You're standing there on your street. Fern, Eddie, and Samantha are standing next to you. And uh, everyone in town is just gone. It's just the group of you standing there. And everyone's gone. Uh, Fern, Eddie, Samantha, all you saw was literally just like Sam kiss him on the cheek and everyone that you were fighting like vanish. Whoa. Hmm. Is it over? I am cool. That was that was a weird. Kiss. My massive so, intellect saves the day yet again. You're welcome. So, uh, I had a you, Eddie. I had like a weird vision after that. Like, yeah. I, uh, uh, Sam, this is going to sound really weird, but I think I I think I need to go into your cave. Uh, yes, he come back. Should we be? Should we be seeing this? I think I. Uh... What does that mean? Is that a nerd? <laughs> well, I mean, I, I just I gave me a kiss, and I, there was this darkness there, and then I was like on a beach, and there was like this really nice cave, and I was like, whoa, whoa. It just made sense. Sorry. Have you ever been Weird. to the beach? Where uh... do you know where it is? I mean, you've ever been in a cave. Yeah, I've been in caves. Okay, we're not talking about They're dark. I'm not telling her if you don't tell her. <laughs> <laughs> if she doesn't know, I'm not telling I'm not explaining it to her. Well, I was just thinking if a kiss did that, then you know what would that do? I'm just, uh, okay. Ooh, I gotta get out of here. Woo! <laughs> Even my brain genius can't handle this. What are y'all talking about? I don't understand what's slapping. going on. Listen, Fern. <laughs> Fern. Okay, I will tell you later. <laughs> when a guy and a girl think each other rock, sometimes uh, they hang out a lot, and it's really great. And then, uh, listen, I don't, I don't even really know how this works. I gotta be honest hey, hey. with you. Okay, I will tell you both later. Um, okay, so what about a cave exactly? I just, I think we should go to cave. In my head it was on a beach, but it, uh -huh. I, I don't. Do I actually does it does it look like an actual place or just like a imagination thing? 
mm, you weren't the there long enough. I mean, everything felt not real about it. Yeah. Okay. Uh, but like, you know, it just seemed like this cave was calling to you and it was on a beach somewhere. And it was just like something about it was calling to you. Right. Well, I was just kind of trying to figure out if, if Clarence felt he needed to take it literal or like as a meaning something else. Yeah, you don't know yet. I mean, you could roll to find out, but you don't know right now. I guess I should try to comprehend what I saw. Yeah. Mm. Fuck if I know. Yeah, you have no clue. You can't really figure it out. But, uh, yeah, you let everyone know that you saw this, cr- something like something crazy. But at the moment, you, uh, Sam kissing you on the cheek saved saved you all from this terrible thing. Uh oh, Lord. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it probably never lived that one down. If that gets out, you're I mean, done. We, we do know a cave. Yeah, well, we know two, three caves now, I think, at this point. Um, yeah. What are the other caves? Well, we know the uh, one that's you know, the hole in the ground, sort of a cave. Yeah. The one that Alistair mm-hmm. came out of. And is that the same one that the his base was in? Uh, no, Alistair, that, that was on the side of a mountain. So that's part of the, that's a different thing. Okay. I think those are the that was like a moment. hatch kind of just situation, but um, okay. yeah, er, like everything's very quiet, everything seems very peaceful, and from out of a house, a door opens across the street mm-hmm. out of your neighbor's house, and out of it steps Alistair, and he just looks so mad at you, just so mad about all the things he's done, and he's just like, I. I've tried to be so patient with you, Clarence. I have done everything to convince you just to let it go. Just get out. But here you are, ruining everything. And as he's like walking down the stairs of this porch towards you, um, he slowly goes from being an older man to a younger man to Alicia to all these different characters. And as he approaches you, uh, you can see that his form is becoming more and more smoky as he gets Mm. closer. And as he stands in the street, uh, he looks at you and in his hand, right? It sort of forms like this weird looking, like I'm going to say battle ax because it's awesome. And in his other hand forms an awesome looking sword. And that is where we're going to end it for today. (gasps) What? Sweet. Yeah. Yo, my boner hit my desk like. <laughs> <laughs> I'm so ready for this. Oh my goodness. All right. Well, uh, that's it for us this week. But uh next week is gonna be a big the big showdown with all these baddies. And hopefully, uh during this week break. Ken or someone will take the time to figure out exactly what Link needed to do to get out of his dream. It might be helpful. Yeah. Uh, Okay. Well, let's go around the screen right now and figure out what people are up to during the time when they should be researching, but definitely won't. Ken, what's (laughs) going on with you? What are you up to this week? Show, man. I've been playing, still playing Grand Theft Auto roleplay every freaking day. I've I've absorbed my entire life. I'm addicted to it and I love it. But uh, we got that going on. You can see all my stuff up there beside me. You can go follow any of that stuff you want to follow. Still got memes and stuff on the YouTube channel. And we got uh, <laughs> oh D&D on the weekends. We laughing at? I, I, I didn't say anything. <laughs> okay. Uh, we got D&D on the weekends on Saturdays. Uh, we're getting pretty close to finishing up the campaign we're doing. Then we're going to be starting a new one. So if you guys want to check that out, it's a good time to get into it pretty soon. And yeah, thank you guys very much for hanging out with us today. Elspeth, what are you up to? Well, uh, man, I just f- finished uh, a Plague Tale, which was really, really good. I'm going to be streaming. Uh, hi, I'm going to be streaming uh, tomorrow. Layers of Fear Two, which just came out, and I really enjoyed the first one. I haven't played the second one at all. I haven't played the demo or anything, so I'm going to start that. Um, might be uh, uh, drinking some Liquid Courage. Who knows? Uh, but I'll be streaming Friday, Saturday, and Sunday for the rest of the week. Uh, and then I'm also very excited about a couple other things that are, uh, coming down the pike. Uh, so be on the lookout for that, uh, on Twitter at Elspeth Eastman, if you want to follow me, because that's where a lot of stuff is going to be happening. 
and it's good. I'm also going to go to a grill out tonight because it's really sunny and beautiful. So yeah. that sounds awesome. I'm gonna, yeah, I want to. I want to go to you. a grill out. Yeah, know, right. I want to drop you some advice. Just some advice about layers of fear too. Uh, oh. I learned the hard way. Okay. Um, nothing is what it seems, and everything is awful. Just remember that. Just remember like that life. little tidbit. Like life, nothing is what it seems. Everything is awful. Okay. Trust me when I say this. Learn to run. That's it. Okay. Okay. All uh, right. Octo, what is happening in your life this week? Uh, well, I lost a bet, and so that means I have to stream all of Final Fantasy VII. Um, <laughs> and so I've been doing that. Uh, that game I, I made a. Well. I made well. I'm well. Funny you should mention that. Uh, I made a bet saying that we wouldn't see anything related to the Final Fantasy VII uh, remake until 2020, and as I was proven monstrously wrong, uh, I uh, I've what modded the hell bet, out of it. What was, no, no, so no. What's your original bet? My original bet was I would have to eat a copy of Final Fantasy VII on stream. <laughs> But I found out that the disc, the dye that they used to make the PlayStation discs, that dark color is like ridiculously toxic and would kill me. So um, I I'm, have to eat an entire cake shaped like the Final Fantasy VII disc that says I'm an idiot uh, in, a Tifa, in a Tifa cosplay, which is still on the way. Um, nice. But... But uh, so uh, that's that's going to happen at some point during the playthrough. But I've modded the game extensively. So at least it's a new experience. Um, nice. I'm, I've modded the PC version. So like uh, graphics are all changed and, and spell effects and sound effects. For some reason, Tifa's Limit Break sounds like a dubstep song. Don't, don't worry about it. It's <laughs> anyway. So that's what I've been doing. What flavor is your idiot cake? Uh, marble, preferably. That's my favorite. Mm. Flavor. What, was the, yeah. what was the bet though? Like, what did you? How did you lose? <laughs> because I bet I said if there is, we don't hear any information about Final Fantasy VII Remake, we won't see anything about Final gotcha. Fantasy VII Remake until gotcha. 2020. And then they were like, hey, guess what? And I was like, <laughs> ah, fuck. <laughs> yeah. yeah. And for a few days, I just want people to know, for a few days at the office, he was like, I got to eat this damn disc. And we were just like, I don't think you should do that. I had to Google, will eating a PlayStation disc kill you? Or how to eat PlayStation disc without dying? If, the, if that didn't, if the, the dot didn't kill you, just like the shards of that stuff. Right? Yeah, that is, yeah, that's some intestinal bleeding, I my friend. Saw yeah. man, I once saw a man eat a VHS tape. I think I would be okay. <laughs> You could just blend it real small. Yeah, I was just yeah. thinking about blend it. Blenders. Yeah, yeah blend. blend it with something. Mix it with like a, a but, smoothie. But the problem is that <laughs> the dye is like hella toxic. It'll kill, kill you. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. That'd be yeah. the last smoothie you ever drank, but it would yeah. be sweet. Oh, oh, the ratings would be amazing. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Morgan, seven out of seven. What are you up to? I, I got nothing. My coworkers are nice, and they brought me some coffee. Um and bonfire <laughs> uh, studios and i'm trying to resist defacing our website with my dog's picture and bio but i probably will because why not that's what happens when you put me in charge of the website <laughs> <laughs> no one's gonna check it it'll be fine i may have had it up there for like a weekend nobody noticed <laughs> can i ask you a question just a yes. real quick question okay what makes you queen of the spiders on your little description that says queen of spiders what about spiders what do you command it says queen of spiders um, oh it's because we don't have any titles and so I can't say what I I mean I don't have a title so then I just say queen of spiders to just truly totally dodge the question right but I why spiders? spiders what about you don't spiders. like spiders no I love spiders I love spiders love them me too is this an, yeah, is this an uncontested title is there is there another queen of spiders out there? I'm sure if I'm sure if I actually put it out there, I would lose miserably because there's a you know arachnologist or something out there who would defeat me. <laughs> Until that day, I claim the title. Right. Until that day, she comes to claim her crown. I, I feel like you got this. I feel like there's no one else out there in the world who's like, yes, I am the queen of spiders. Spiders so, are amazing. Congrats. Spiders yeah. are amazing, mm -hmm. and they are your friends, and they help you. So do not squish spiders. It's true. It's true. They, they, if you they have kill spiders, the bugs, they're and probably the eating the cockroaches. Mm -hmm. Yeah. God, 
I like those videos when they show like spiders doing crazy shit to other bugs. And it's like, whoa. Uh, that was a weird thing to say. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> I like, I like those, those videos. videos. <laughs> you know, those I like bugs. those videos whoa. a lot. Those are my favorite videos when spiders get the bugs. <laughs> Cause I'm like, whoa. Got it, bug. <laughs> um, Dang. <laughs> I'm not going to take it back. It's entirely true. Nature videos are great, but it's a weird thing to say. All right. That's it for us. Uh, we will see y'all in the post show. Thank you so much for watching, and we will see you next week. Uh, bye, everybody. Have a good one. Bye, everyone. Bye.